Hi everybody, this is just a quick review of the Powercool Mech 1 Multicolor LED Mechanical Feel Keyboard. Uh, this was purchased off eBay for around about £19.50, I think I paid for it, which isn't a lot. Um, it is only mechanical feel, it's not true mechanical, but we'll have a look and see if it's worth the money and have a look at the features that's available. This is the box that it comes in. Um, as you can see, it shows that it's switchable seven colours, LED, it's power cool, uh, multi-colour, LID mechanical cool feel, feel keyboard. Um, on the back, you can see some of the features that it has, the dimensions, the LED control, that you can change it and increase and decrease the brightness. Um, change response time of the keyboard, swap the arrow keys with WASD and some of the media functions so if you want to have a look at that you can pause the screen and have a closer look but I'm going to go over them anyway so this is the keyboard itself it plugs in via USB and the main function of this is obviously the LED uh, backlight so this is the LED button, you've got red, green, blue, yellow, light blue, purple, white and off. You also have the option, if you hold the function key and tap that, it will fade in and out between all of the colours. The backlight, it, it's not the brightest when it comes to the actual keys. I mean, it is daytime at the moment. But it's bright enough. You can see it on a night when it's dark. Um, you can increase or decrease the brightness. However, this is currently on its brightest. And there's only sort of four stages. There's off, low, medium and high. That's as high as it goes. So that's the basics of the keyboard. Um, some of the other functions it has, if you hold the function key and press W, you see it's got the horizontal arrow side to side. What that does is it swaps WASD over to here. So um, if you are using it as a gaming uh, keyboard and you don't necessarily want to be using, maybe you're left handed or whatever, um, you want to swap them over you can do so and it's the same just to get it back its function and those are all keys um, other functions it's got are on the function keys F1 opens your media player F2 and 3 are volume up and down F4 is mute these are your basic media controls stop, skip back, uh, play pause and skip forward then you've got your open your email program open your default web program um, I don't actually know what that lock is for, now I've come to think of it. And F12, it is actually a calculator. The icon isn't very good, but it, it, it does open the calculator. I just put it back on autofocus. Right, let's find out what that lock is for. The lock locks the keyboard. Oh, there you go. Probably so that people can't use it. Or to prevent accidental button presses. But that's it. I mean, um, the keyboard itself, it's its an open keyboard, so there's no sort of rim around the outside. It's open to see under the keys. And you can see the travel of the keys there. Oh, let me just go down here. There's quite a bit of travel. And you can hear the noise. You know, that's the, the sort of mechanical aspect of it. The underside of the keyboard is metal. And it's got rubber feet on the front to stop it sliding. Um, rubber feet on the back to stop it from sliding and then it's also got the snap out feet to add a little bit of height to the keyboard which I definitely use we have those down and those also have rubber on the bottom to prevent movement and as you can see I use this on it's a very smooth it's not glossy effect table but it is very smooth white and it doesn't slide about. I can move it easily, but when I'm typing, it does stay exactly where um, it was. It, do it doesn't move about at all. Is it worth the money? Yes, 
it is worth the money. However, if you were looking for something like a replacement or a cheaper option of the Razer Chroma, um, this isn't necessarily it. It does what it's supposed to do. It does it adequately. doesn't do it well. It does it adequately. Um, but for the price, you know, under 20 British pounds, you can't complain. The delivery was really quick. It actually got delivered on a Sunday, which was very surprising. So there you go, quick review of the Razor Chroma. Worth the money? Yes. Built well? Well enough for the money. Thank you.